Hey everyone, this is Baylor, and in this three-part series, we're going to be building an Alexa app with Firebase and a React dashboard. And so what I've gone ahead and done is gone, signed up at developer.amazon.com. I have an account, and what we'll do is we'll click on this Amazon Alexa. And this is where I had trouble when I first got started with this. What you'll do is in the top right corner, you'll click on this and choose Alexa Developer Console. And uh, you can see I have my food stand skill. This is the one that I created and I had in that video last week. And we're gonna create a new one. So we'll create a skill and we're gonna call this coffee shop. And our model we'll choose is custom. And for our backend, we're gonna choose the Alexa hosted Node.js. And this is gonna use the AWS Lambda environment and it should be plenty for us. And then we'll go back to the top and choose create skill. And it's going to ask us to choose a template. I think it's best to choose hello world. It is very easy to kind of see what's going on. Uh, some of these others are pretty complicated. And so for what we're doing, hello world makes a lot of sense. So we'll click on choose. And now we wait and this takes a couple of minutes. And so I'm going to pause the video and I will see you in the next page. Okay, so our skill has been provisioned, and the first thing we need to do is click on this invocation name, and it's currently set to change me, and we're gonna rename ours to Coffee Shop. And it doesn't have to be the same name as your skill, but it just, for me, it just sounds nice because what we'll say is something like, Alexa, tell Coffee Shop we sold a drink. Right, And so this will tell Alexa that this is the skill that we're trying to talk to. And so we'll name it Coffee Shop. And I'm gonna save this model and I'm gonna go ahead and build it. And while this is building, let's take a look at these intents because this is the thing that makes Alexa very, very cool. So what happens is when we invoke our Coffee Shop, Alexa is going to look at these sample utterances, and this is a trained neural network that is going to learn how to hear what we say. And so we give it samples like this so it can get an idea of what we might say. And when we say something like this, then we want to register to our code that we're calling the hello world intent. And so what we'll do is take a look at how this gets used. And we can do that by going to the code tab. And in this index.js, you'll see there's several, several handlers here. And a lot of these are just boilerplate that are needed for the Alexa app to work. Um, one of these that you might actually change is this help intent so that you can say, if I'm asked for help, what will I tell them, right? Like you can order a drink or you can say how many drinks have we sold and stuff like that. And the one we're looking at is that hello world intent. And so what you can see is that when we ask, can we handle this? We're looking at the request type as an intent request and the intent name is that hello world intent. And that is what we used over on our build tab. And when this matches, then when we handle this, we're just going to speak, or we're gonna tell Alexa to speak hello world. And to see how this gets registered, we can scroll down to the bottom and you can see that we're building a skill, we're adding these request handlers, and then we're converting it over to that AWS Lambda function. And so what we'll do to get started is just go ahead and deploy this. And then we'll hop over to our test tab and we're gonna enable this so that we can run it in development. And what's really cool is as soon as you do this, you can start playing with your app and you're on the Amazon app on your phone, or if you have an Echo, you can go ahead and say things like, Alexa, ask Coffee Shop, how are you doing? But what we're gonna do for this is just use the simulator. So we'll start with, tell Coffee Shop, hi. And I don't know if you'll hear it or not, but what it'll do is now say, hello world, if, if your speakers are on, and you can go ahead and look at how this works. So let me close these notifications. So if we scroll down to the bottom, we'll, s and you might've heard that. So a little bit delayed, but what we'll see here is we have our request. 
that type is an intent request and the name was the hello world intent and then if we look at the response from our code you can see that we have that output speech and we're telling it to speak hello world and to do another one we can say things like ask coffee shop how are you doing and you can see we get another hello world what we'll do now is now that we get an idea of how this works that we're going to hop from build to code to test we'll go back to our build and we're going to add a new intent so we'll click on the add button here and we're going to call this save transaction intent and we'll click create and the thing that we are looking for is we want to say like we sold and and then we have a variable and variables in Alexa are called slots and so you can see we have zero slots down here and we'll click right here to create a new slot and we'll call this item and we'll click the plus and now we'll choose our type and we're going to say this is a food and now we can start using this variable so we'll say things like we sold an item and you can see that when we put these brackets in here that the editor is highlighting this and we'll click the plus or and we'll might say we sold a item uh, we just sold an item and we just sold a item and I'm putting these just in here because I'm going to probably mess up and actually say just instead of just we sold and so now that we've added these utterances we'll save this model and then we can build it and while this is building we're going to go ahead and start getting started with the save intent handler so I'm going to go ahead and copy this and we'll hop over to our code and I guess it didn't do me much good to copy that because I'm about to copy something else, but let me paste this in here. And what we'll do is we're going to copy out our Hello World intent handler, and we're going to paste this in, and I will just start replacing these in cases. And then this last one here, we'll scroll down to the bottom, and we're going to add that to our request handlers that we know. And what we'll change here is we have our save intent handler and we do not see our variable. And so what we'll do is we will say that we had our item and this is equal to Alexa.getSlotValue. And here what we do is we're going to pass in that handler input dot request envelope. And the second parameter to this is that variable name or that slot and we called ours item. And so what we'll change this to is I'm going to use the backtick form of string. And so we can say, um, did you just sell a item? Right? So instead of being helpful here, we'll just have Alexa kind of echo back what we just said. And so with this, we will save and now deploy. And so now that this has been deployed, let's hop over to test. And I assume our model is probably built already. In fact, I think I just saw that, yes, it has built. So we'll say, tell coffee shop we sold a coffee. Did you just sell a coffee? And so you can see that it's already being annoying. <laughs> we are telling it what we've done, and it is telling it back to, repeating it back to us. And if we scroll down to the bottom, the way this structure looks is we have that same intent request. We have our name as our save transaction intent and that we see our slots and we have the item and then we see the value. And so I think that is going to let us get started for now. We have our model. We also have our intent handler. And, and you can see we grab this slot value by reading from that request envelope and then we're able to do something with that variable. And so what we'll do in the next video is set up our Firebase Firestore database, and we will start pushing these values over into there, and we'll be able to start building our dashboard from there.